So, hi and welcome back. trying to get you up to date with everything we've had going on uh, for like past few months and just everything in our life all the adventures and everything like that and next on my list is our adventure to American Beauty Car Show uh, that was in July our journey actually started with painting this car and it was white before and we painted it beige beige being such a um, more authentic and old-timey color if you're interested in seeing uh, the journey of how I painted and like custom painted this car um, from the tailgate to the bakery logos on the doors then I will link my other YouTube channel where I post car themed or more art themed things then so I will link this video up here uh, and if you're interested you can go and give it a look and if not let's just jump into the real adventure we had that day we started our drive happily as ever uh, in our freshly painted car because I had just finished it at the same morning and everything was going fine until five kilometers five kilometers from home we heard a clunk and decided to investigate so we pulled over went around the car everything seemed normal nothing out of ordinary uh, except my husband's shoes had decided to start falling apart literally here's like you can see <laughs> they were going into like a crumble by basically and we were this should have been our first warning to turn uh, back home but because my husband had flip-flops in the car we decided we will just carry on And this is exactly how we ended up 35 kilometers from home, stranded on the side of the road. So the car started to overheat and we had lost power steering. So we pulled over to inspect what is going on exactly and discovered that the accessory belt had flown off. No battery charging, no power steering and with a car this big, you definitely do need a power steering. And most important, importantly, the water pump wasn't running, so the car started to overheat. The belt had thinned down like a half, and we tried to put it back on. It almost worked, but it flew off again. And with further inspection, we discovered that the reason why it was flying off is because the power steering pulley power steering pump pulley, pulley was uh, slowly coming off and because it's the kind you have to push on um, it needed welding to get back to place because otherwise it would have flown off at any given moment started to we had to call our friends and check if any of them could come and pick us up because what are you gonna do we can't drive the car so one of our friends uh, wife started to drive toward us to uh, drop us back home but at the same time there were so many people pulling over asking if we were okay making sure that maybe they could help or something like that and um, Finally, there stopped the guy who was also going to the American Beauty Car Show and he started to call all his friends who work on American cars uh, 
making sure they, maybe some of them were still at home or something like that. But all of them were already off. And as a last chance, he said he knows a guy who lives near here, but um, he doesn't know if he's home and he doesn't know if he like he didn't have his number. So he decided he was like, I'm going to go check if he's home and he should have uh, a welding machine. So maybe he can help. Meantime, we started to take off the pump, uh, the power steering pump so they could weld it, uh, the pull it back there. So we just randomly had two screwdrivers, a few wrenches and the exact size we needed to get the pump off. We drained the oil to um, recently emptied lemonade bottle using basically rubbish that was left on the side of the road by somebody else. We used it as a funnel and somehow we made it work. The guy came back, turns out the friend he had um, was at home and he was uh, he came along to check things out and was like yeah I, I can weld it it's okay so they took the pump and at the same time I took off with our friend's wife to get back home and bring my car to the same place so when I got home I loaded my car with all types of tools and everything we could like maybe we needed or not and started to drive back. Meanwhile, the boys were able to uh, weld the pulley back and install it in the car and use the old belt that was thinner now, uh, put it back on and the car started running. So we were like, yay, finally, we were going there with two cars now. My uh, car being a safety car just to be sure if we strand got stranded again we had a car that we could get home to uh, with or wherever we needed and so we started our journey to Hapsalo now uh, from where we were stranded and I kid you not we were able to try one kilometer Till we had to pull over again because now we started to have electrical problems. I was driving and I saw in my rear view mirror that the headlights were going crazy on the car and where they were flashing and everything and my husband was like yeah all the uh, clocks and everything went crazy too inside. So we pulled over, we started to go over the wiring and everything to make sure when we were stranded at the first place, we were thinking already that maybe there's some reason we don't we we shouldn't go there. Maybe we should go back home. Uh, all the motivation was gone, or like everything was feeling hopeless. But the moment everything started to work out, we found a guy who would weld it, and we had the exact tools we needed. We were like, okay, it's just a little. We can do it, we'll still go. When we have, were stranded the second time to check the electrical things, we started to think again, maybe we shouldn't go, maybe there's a reason. And I said, if we can get the car running normally without those electrical problems, this means we are okay to go. This is how we finally made it to Hapsalo. We parked my car in a free parking lot and went for a drive in the Chevy through the old town where all the event was going on, where it was filled with American cars and ah, the feeling of finally making it. We were, um, we planned to go by noon or slightly after, but we made it by I think half past five in the evening. Uh, usually we go by noon so we can see the cars on the show area and then go enjoy more cars outside because um, the atmosphere out of the old castle where the show area is is actually very very like you can't explain it it's so so cool 
and usually we go there, we go dancing and we enjoy their live bands going on. We usually uh, enjoy these, we uh, have lunch or something. Or I like to take photos of these, uh, all the cars and everything. This time, because we made it so late, uh, the bands are, were already playing. The workshop we actually wanted to go for line dancing and everything was already over. We, uh, there were so much people already. Usually by noon there's not that much, so you can uh, enjoy it more slowly. But this year I think there were so many people because it was the last time, something like that. So there was just a lot more people who came to see the last pit of it. We got coffee, we met up with my, uh, our friend and we started to tour the uh, lot for all the show cars. There were so many cool ones um, and we finally uh, sat down, ate a little bit because we haven't, hadn't eaten since like noon and it was already evening so we um, ha uh, had like barbecue and stuff. Then we decided to get um, like virgin mojitos to enjoy because they have really good ones there all the time and decided to sit down and enjoy the show a little bit for some time and then we could carry on looking around. That's why I didn't film a lot there because we were so like running behind our, on our schedule. Uh, later on we went and drove a little bit more around uh, the old town with our car. We parked more near us, met up with some more people. It was such a cool trip there. Um, the atmosphere was something else. But we were happy we made it. We were happy we stayed that late, as late as we stayed. We wanted to, why we went, wanted to go early is we wanted to enjoy it to the fullest, but just life had other plans. But the main thing is we started to drive back uh, at night. We made it home at like, I don't know, half past one to two in the evening or like at night. Um, and we made home without any issues. So the car did great when we came back home, and which was such a relief because can you imagine having to fix your car or just stranded on the side of the road uh, in pitch darkness? Uh, so yeah, we made it back home. We now have a cool painted car we can take to other maybe American car shows. Um, that we have around here like the season starting show or something like that so this is it we made it back home i have a few clips of everything all in all even though we had such it was such pain in the ass basically then overall it's a cool little adventure to tell uh, friends and family basically because uh, through all the hardships we had on that journey to get there, it actually finally was worth it. We made it there. Um, the feeling was something else and we got to enjoy it at the American Beauty Car Show one last time. So this is one other of our summer adventures out there now and i will end this here and uh, we will see in my next video which will be more about i think more about country living things again probably something related to gardening probably my pickle making video so stay tuned for that if you did enjoy this video uh be sure to like this video and if you want to see more of our adventures our life in the countryside and everything else in between because i like to tip my toe into all the different types of uh, ways to do things and content so but mostly countryside living and my life our lifestyle things I hope you have a great day, uh, I hope your uh, summer or whichever season you are in is filled with uh, happy ending adventures and I will see you in 
my next video. So bye.